and have it in the kingdom of heaven. But that's not for the you know for the for the elect and for the one third of the nation of Israel. We're gonna have to catch up, man. That's part of our job. But what we shot? This uh okay for uh, Titus one verse fifteen unto all uh, unto the pure all things are pure, but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving nothing it uh, is nothing pure. Right, and that's another thing too. Most Christians believe that, like like the brother said, that they're already saved. So they view this as their kingdom. You know? That's why, yo, some Christians don't even want to go to the kingdom of heaven. Because they live it so swell, man. Yeah. But when, when, you know, they look at us and they see how we act. We're like, yo, man, I want to get out of here like yesterday. They look at you like, like you're going off, you know? Like you're completely contrary. Like, what are you talking about? You know, you're supposed to be living your life, traveling, doing all this, blah, 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 you know? But really, we... That's the spirit you're supposed to be in. Because the scriptures tell you, uh, uh, what's it called, in Ecclesiastes 7 and 7, surely a pressure maker for wise man mad. Mm -hmm. You know? I'm sick of people telling me I'm mad. Of course I'm mad, man. And that's the spirit we're supposed to be in. That Christianity is all honkadories and love and, and happiness all the time, man. When it's really not like that. Yeah. This is a dog eats dog world, man. Esau is, coming, Esau is trying to come for our heads, man. Yeah. He's doing everything to basically break down on us. You know what I'm saying? Correct. He's supposed to be in that in that hateful spirit, man. I, I, that's another thing too, Salaki. Not to rant on, but they tell you that you're not supposed to hate, or 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 you're not supposed to hate people, man. I'm sick of people telling me that. God is love. God is not. God is not all love, man. He hates too. Hmm. And we're supposed to be in the like mind of. That's a part of putting on your house shod. It's being in the same like mind as your house shod. That's how we walk in Him. It's hating too. Perfect. Hating the evil, man. Being in perfect balance. That's right. Just say that uh, he that hate his life shall save it. You know that's why we are in complaint the whole time. Right. Even oh, what's it called? Even uh, I'm not. If I'm not mistaken, I will grab the scripture first. But yeah, I, I'm gonna grab the scripture add, first. Yeah, come. If I may add, that, that's exactly that lasting, uh, lasting, uh, uh comfortable spirit. That's exactly the spirit the enemy wants you to be in, man. True. So he can devour you, man. Like he said, it's a dog eats dog world. The scriptures talk about how uh, we wrestle against spiritual wickedness in high places, man. You know? So we're in a battle right now, man. We don't have time to be sitting back, last of day school, uh, being comfortable in this place, man. You know? Going on vacations. And, you know, this is not the time for that, man. You know? This is the time to be glorifying the Heavenly Father till it's fullest, to our fullest potential. You know? But you could uh, you could finish that up. Huh? Yeah, uh, verse sixteen. Uh, they profess that they know Yahweh, mm -hmm. but in in works they deny Him, okay. being abominable and disobedient, and unto every good work reprobate. <laughs> being abominable, man. Right. It's an abomination to sell your people a lie, man. Right. You you have people who are are, are spiritually hungry, you know, for, for the truth. Time. You know, and, and you, here it is. They believe in you, thinking that this is the truth, and you taking all their money, man. Empty, Come. empty promises. Yep, yep. And you and you selling them out for monetary gain, man. That's why the heavenly Father is going to crush yep. the, the the Christian congregation, man. That's why that stronghold uh, of Christianity is being broken down, man, through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shad, man. So, so if I mean that, you know, the ultimate way He's going to crush that congregation, you know, when the the mark of the beast is implemented, mm -hmm. you know, okay. because, you know, the, of course the pastor is going to tell his people, you know, his congregation to take that chip. And, and, and when they find out that, that, that the RFID chip is the mark of the beast, you know, a lot of people is going to come after they pass their head, you know, okay. because yep. they, 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 they not in tune with the spirit of prophecy, which is Yahweh Shai, you know, so they, 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 the only thing they know is a, a prosperity doctrine, you right. know. Right. You see the Joe Osteen day, one little tragedy, he locked the doors of the church. Right? Oh, man. man. Yeah. Yeah. He locked yeah. the doors, man. <laughs> if I, I mean, that's a, that's a smart move. <laughs> <laughs> that's a very smart man. move. That's right, that's <laughs> right. You know, as a man of the Lord, he got to have that kind of uh, gumption. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you just don't lock anybody. You, know, mm -hmm. and you got to hold down the fort. You know, don't give a shit about what people say. She gotta protect what's the most size business, man. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a smart thing. You know, in the world, you gotta, you know, you can't be catching feelings, man. You, know, <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. 
you know, sorry, but we're not open at this time. <laughs> you know, we you the best in your endeavors. <laughs> experience man kind of being, being ignorant in this truth is no good it's no good you know to see the you know the results of being ignorant in this world 
it's a bad, uh, it's a bad experience, man. And this truth, you gotta be fruitful, man. Right. You can't just be walking around being drunk yeah. with all this doctrine and then you're not being productive for the work of Yad Bashim and Shah. Mm -hmm. Because you gotta be lively, man. For you to be fruitful, you gotta be alive. You know, so you gotta stay away from these walks of darkness. Mm -hmm. These doctrines of darkness. Yeah, you know, if I may add, you know, because you, I mean, our people, you know, in that in that Christianity, you know, they living off lies, you know, that's that's not being fruitful. Yeah. I mean, you, you still got some of our people believing that so-called Jesus is still a white man, you know, and it, it's, 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 it's the, the only cure for that plague is death, you know. That's right, yeah. right, because some of our people have been indulged in Christianity for decades, yeah. you know. That's a generational thing, you know. Yeah, kind. Yeah, you can't be productive when you're drunk. Yeah, you try to say that all the time. The only cure is death. <laughs> For real. Yeah, this is uh, Sirach 24, Sirach 24 and 32. It says, uh, I will yet make doctrine to shine as the morning and will send forth the light afar off. I will yet pour out doctrine as prophecy and leave it to all ages forever. Behold, that I have not labored for myself only, but for, for but for all them that seek wisdom. Yeah, that's right. You know, and this is this is what it's all about. This is why this is why we do what we do. This is why we uh, expel uh, and, and, and make uh, bear all the lies of the of the Christian Church or the, or the uh, Egyptology or whatever philosophy that you think you're in. Uh, Islam, all that stuff. We we just bring out the knowledge and the wisdom for not only for ourselves. That's why we do the research for ourselves. Then we bring the information to the people, so that people can uh, uh, understand what's going on. So they don't be blinded. So we can lift the veil off their eyes. Kind and this right. is this is what this is through Yahweh Bashim Shai. This is this is how it gets done. You know. Kind of. Yep. So like, what was that? Uh, Sirach. 24, uh, yeah, Sirach 24 32. and 32. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kinda, if I may add, it said we uh, we labor not for ourselves, but for, uh, it's like roughly paraphrasing. I'm going to read it, I'm going to read it. Behold, that I have not labored for myself only, but for, but for all them that seek wisdom. You see that? For all them that seek wisdom. Kinda. And that goes back to what the brother was saying about being fruitful. You know, because there there are uh, uh, plenty of potential fruit out there, man. Also in the Christian congregation, man. You know, and that's that's why we're we're doing this admonishment, man. You know, and, and those of them of that Christianity doctrine that are uh, uh, that want to be stubborn and stay in that doctrine and stay in that darkness, they're gonna know in that day when that tribulations come. What does the scripture say? Uh, in their affliction, they shall seek me early. You know, so when that hour of temptation comes, when that mark of the beast gets mandated, you know, they're going to know in that day that they were worshiping a false god, man. Or that they were worshiping a, a, a false entity, a false entity, man. Because they're going to be calling on sweet, sweet baby Jesus, and he's not going to hear their voice. Lisa, you know? Uh, this is Matthew 7 and, uh, and 17. It says, Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit. But a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewed down and cast into fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. You know, like the brother was saying, you know, you know, their their, their fruit is going to be known. You know, in, in these in these last in these last days, you know. When, uh, uh, and they try to call on upon the name of sweet Jesus, right. you know, and, and nobody gets delivered, you know. Yeah, yeah it's going to be known, you know, right. that they wasn't the, the, the true men of the Lord. And, and, that, and that's right. when they're going to be crying unto us, man. Right. Asking, oh, what, what was that that y'all was saying on them corners? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's when they're going to be coming to us, man. Because yeah. what does the scripture say? Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them, yeah. you know. Let me read this real quick. Huh. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter uh, 5, verse 9. Actually, uh, 5, verse 3. O Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, I know thine eyes upon the truth. Thou hast stricken them, but they have not grieved. Thou hast consumed them, but they have refused to receive correction. They have 
made their faces harder than a rock, yeah. they have refused to return. That's Israel. Yep. So, they, you know, when the man of the law put up all the videos, you know, on YouTube or wherever, websites, you know, and then on the highways and byways, you know, Jigs don't want to hear it. Um, Chasso doesn't want to hear it. Dickens yeah. doesn't want to hear it. Yeah. The youth minister doesn't want to hear it. You know, the deacon doesn't want to hear it. The congregation doesn't want to hear it. And at the end of the day, you know, when shit happens to them, they have a they have pride in their heart to admit that, you know, that the men of the Lord already warned them. You know, they just, you know, stay on, stay on, just like IUIC. You know, they keep on going uh, towards that way of destruction. And the day, you know, hey, you know, the Lord already did their part. You know, right. your hands have been, uh, I won't say exonerated. <laughs> well, you know, your hands have been washed from their blood, you know, because mm -hmm. you've already done, you've done your job, you know. So, you know, yeah, you, know but, you know, the, you know, the, you know, the burden is on them, man. Kind of. That's all it is. It's true. Uh, yeah. So, man, no, go ahead. No, because I was going to say that uh, that's another thing, too, like like the brother was saying, because the, the matter of the fact is that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is always going to come out victorious. And that's something that's something that, in this in this truth that I've came to the realization of, everybody's, everybody's going to feel how they feel about their God or so-called God and how they feel about their, uh, their opinions toward the truth. But the fact, the matter of the fact is at the end of all, all of it, Yahweh Bashim Shai is going to come out glorious. And that's why we boast in Yahweh Bashim Shai. And that's why we have pride in Yahweh Bashim Shai. But I wanted to uh, bring this out real quick. There's 2 Corinthians 10, verse 17. It says, But he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord, or Yahweh Bashim Shai. And that was the uh, reason why I brought that out is because no matter no matter what, we're, we're going to be, we're going to, uh, you know, if we, we basically endure to the end, we're going to receive salvation. So it's either you hop on board or you get lost, man. And and that's why we glory in Yahweh Bashim al -Shah. That's why we have utter pride in Yahweh Bashim al -Shah. Because he gave us the light. Yeah. And, and to circle all of it, uh, circle it back around, he gave us the unction. Yeah. The anointing to know to know all these things. That's why regardless of the situation, we're always going to come out glorious. Because Yahweh Bashim al -Shah gave us the power. Our power is from the Most High who created the earth, who created the sun, the moon, you know, created us as a, as an an entirety, man. So we 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 serve him. We don't serve any of these other gods, these false gods. And our foundation isn't all falsehood. It's all straight truth, man. The hardcore truth. So that's why in the, at the end of be all, we're always we're always gonna, you know, come out victorious. Do you how about Shah? Yeah, because this is the most high's program. Come. The most high literally set us up from the foundations of the earth to do this, man. You know? In scripture, we, we read it earlier. If this if this uh, uh, <clears throat> if it be if, the, if this ministry be of men, it will come to naught. You know, but it's not, man. This is of Yahweh Yahweh Shah, man, the true and living power. You know, but uh, if I may, I'm gonna just grab this last uh, precept because we were speaking about it, the parable of the uh, the ten virgins. You know, so I'm gonna read a little bit of it. This is a uh, I, I might skip through it a little bit. This is um Matthew chapter 25 verse one. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five of them were foolish. And they that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with the lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. Yeah, what's the oil? The oil represents the truth. That's right. Right? The righteousness of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, that that light and that truth is used to shine in, in the way of darkness, you know, to to to, to guide you away in, in darkness. Yeah. Okay. So that's what the oil is used for. Go ahead. Okay. Verse five. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. Right. Okay. And that's, that, that's what yeah, you talked about. Yeah, that's how I was just gonna say that too. You know, the church is sleep. That's right. Yeah. During the time, during the time that we're in right now, the masses of our people are asleep. Yeah. So that's why the Most High is going to come as a thief. But right now, mm -hmm. it's you know essentially we're the ones that are tarrying. We're the we're, we're the ones that are actually putting in the work. You know, right. that's what it says in the next verse too. It says, "And at midnight 
there was a great uh, salak, and at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Right. Go ye out to meet him. Of course, trust. We living in right now. The, the time is eleven fifty nine, man. <laughs> That's right. The minute the minutes get ready, to click to twelve, man. Yep. In a minute, and when right. that when that time comes, it's gonna be too late. The door of mercy is gonna shut. The ark of the covenant is going is, is going to be shut up for the for the rest of the people, and the only the ones that's going to be on the ark is the elect. That's right. Then then you're going to know, like you said, the prophet has been among you. He's been telling you all this time, all this time for thou two thousand years now. Uh, this word has been out, you know. But the understanding is in the last days. That's what that's what uh, uh, Jacob told his sons. Let me tell you what will before you in the last days. Go ahead, bro. Come. It says, um, uh, verse six. And at midnight there was a there was a cry made. Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Yeah. Go ye out to meet him. Mm. Then then all those salaki, Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. It says, And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Afterward came also the other virgin, saying, Lord, Lord, open up, uh, open, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Where you been? Yeah, where you been? Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. And and that's that's how the day of the Lord is coming, man. Yeah. Like like that thief in the night. Like that uh like it like it said, the bridegroom came in the, in, in the midnight, man. While everybody was slumbering and while they were sleeping, that's when the, that's when he came back, man. You know? That's a deep story, man. And if you yeah, that's if, a deep story. <laughs> if your lamp ain't lit, you know, if you don't got that oil, which is this truth in that time. You 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 gonna get left in that thermonuclear fire, man. Kind of. Cause if you if you really look at it, that's what the bride that's what the bridegrooms were tarrying for. But that's what they were working for. For all to avoid those words from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. We 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 put in this work, and we you know they put in the work, all to receive that uh, all to be re uh, received in the marriage, man. And we're doing the same exact thing because the Lamb is gonna bring us back to uh to the uh you know he's gonna marry us, man. We're, that's what that's what we're doing. We're working so we can receive that everlasting uh, salvation, and and it's just deep, man. Because people, you know, they they they're sleeping. They're not. We're trying to we're trying to warn them or admonish them to do the things that we're doing, so they could come. So they could come to the wedding too, man. Yeah. While well, people, you know, they they don't they don't want to work, man. They're lazy. Yeah, let me just push up real quick. It's First Timothy chapter uh, four, verse sixteen. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself mm -hmm. and them that hear thee. That's right. Yep. So you know the power of the virgins, the wise, and the foolish. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, the foolish fell short, man. That's you right. Know, they, didn't, they didn't finish... Uh, they finish their job description. You know they fell short. Right. So you know they have no uh, they have no profit to the you know to the bridegroom. You know it's uh, something you always gotta keep in mind, man. You gotta finish the race. That's right. You know you gotta finish that race. You can't uh, be taking breaks, man. You know you gotta finish the marathon. You had the marathon, fourth marathon a few days ago. You know a couple of uh, weeks ago you had. Uh, Another marathon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. In Baltimore? So, I mean, here in D.C. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, so, Marine Corps. Marine Corps, you know, and one before that. Yes, yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's, uh, it's simple, man. You know, you know, folks don't understand, man. The most side's not playing. That's right. You know, you, you, you gotta, you gotta, you know, you gotta stay with the task. You know, you can't afford, you know, to be caught napping on the corner, man. You gotta be 100% in. Right, so, right. You, know, you don't want to be uh, that example, you know, of not uh, doing what needed to be done. 
Otherwise, you know, you're going to get, you know, steamrolled over, man. <laughs> That's right. In that, uh, in that uh, parable with the virgin, it said they trimmed their lamp. Looked up that word trim and it's the word. Strong's G, 2885, Cosmeo. Cosmeo. Cosmeo means to put in order, arrange, mm -hmm. make ready, prepare. Mm -hmm. So when they prepare their lap, this is what they're doing. They're preparing the way, man. They say, well, give me some of your well. I prepared. I prepared. I prepared my lap. That's right. What you doing? Now you want some of what I got? That's right. Wait a minute. No, you yeah. can't have what yeah. I have. Go to the uh, sellers and, and buy. You know what I mean? But but we we try to trim our lap, put things in order, man. Put our house in order, man. That's right. We talked about that from the food, the drink, everything. We put in our house in order, man. Then then we admonishing our brothers. We we uplifting, extolling, whatever we have to do, uh, uh, even uh, admonishing. You know, we got to do everything to make this house fit it right, man. We're going to trim this. We're going to cut this. We're going to make this straight. We're going to line this up. You know what I'm saying? We're doing all the things that we need to do to put the house of Yah, Bashim, uh, uh the, the house of Dawah, Dawah, in order, man. That's right. Yeah. This is what we're doing. I got this preset. Yeah. Oh, you got to say this, uh, mention this real quick. Yeah. As you know, in the temple, you know, you got to have the candles, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the candles got to be burning all the time. That's right. You know, you can't have the candle all the way down. Right. You know, flickering. All the way flickering. <laughs> you got some tall candles. I mean, the candles got to be a full blast at all times. Right. right. When the candles ringling, all the way, you got to hurry up and replace it. Otherwise, how are the priests going to do read. the job? How they going to read? You know? Right. How they uh, going to read to the people? Yep. That's yep. important, yep. man. You know, you can't have darkness on one side of the room and then you have lights on this side. The whole exactly. room got to be lit up. That's right. You know? That's right. That's right. Yeah. This is uh, Hebrews 12 and 1. It says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with such great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doeth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. You're talking about marathons and stuff. Okay. It says, Looking unto, the, looking unto Yahweh as the author and finisher of our faith, who for joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of the Most High. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against him, lest you be weary and faint in your minds. You have not resisted unto blood striving against sin, and you have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, hmm. nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, right. and scourge every son whom he receiveth. Hmm. If you endure chastening, Yahweh by Hashem Yahashah dealeth with you, with you as sons. Um, for what son is whom the father chasteneth not? But if you be without chastisement whereof, all the partakers then are your bastards and not sons. So you got to go through it, man. This is what you do. This is how you. This is how you trim your life. You set yourself in order, man. Yahweh Hashem Yahshai don't want no weak candles, man. He don't want no little bit of piece of candle. He want the whole thing, man. The whole stem, man. And let your light shine for all men to see. This is how. This is how uh, other people will see. Your work, see your righteousness, see you shine. When you shine, others shine. They they take a little a flick of flame from you and, and and carry the torch. This is how the apostles and the elders. This is how they've been doing it. They've been showing us the way. Yahweh Bashem El Shai has shown us the way through the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. The way to go, not through the church, because we all were in the church. We fell off the church. You see. We, we've been through uh, uh, Islam and Buddhists and all the drug dealing. Whatever you was into, people stopped them things. Right now we're taking on the righteousness of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. 